Alrighty, I wanna teach you quickly how to increase your average order value using Give With Purchase Unlocks. I also wanna show you some of the results that other store owners are getting and look, some of the tips and tricks that I have observed overlooking thousands and thousands of businesses that are using this to unlock more revenue on their Shopify site. Here's some of the results for stores that are using Give With Purchase to increase average order value on their store. As you can see, this one here, I just took some quick snapshots from stores just before. $16,000 in revenue, two and a half thousand dollars nearly in upsell revenue that's been attributed or influenced by a gift with purchase then we've got last week another one six and a half thousand two and a half thousand that's an awesome average order value and revenue boost right there so last month this this store here absolutely killed it using a gift with purchase campaign so three hundred thousand fifty two thousand in upsell influenced revenue by the average order value increase of gift with purchase. I wanna show you what it looks like on a Shopify store within the cart. So if I add the cart on the demo one, you can see here I've got to add five pound to unlock free gift. I add one more product, boom gift unlocked. Now there's tons of features and tons of ways that you can customize this, but this is just the basic one that comes standard. But you, as you can see here, we've got the progress bars, as I said, and then we've got this gifting module down here. I want to talk about why gift with purchases is so powerful quickly. So they increase average order value without devaluing products. Unlike other apps and other strategies to increase average order value, normally they're kind of spammy with scary discount offers and timers and everything like that. But gift with purchase, just it, it doesn't feel spammy. It just feels right. There's reason why big companies are with doing gift with purchase offers but they're not so we're just doing discounts so there we go it's just my preferred way of increasing average order value it's a good scarcity offer as well if you're going to do like a today only or a weekly only gift with purchase thing it, it's very tempting for a customer to click that checkout button because they want to secure that gift with purchase with their product that day look they are also evergreen or you can do rotating offers with gift with purchase so what that means is you can set and forget, just have an always gift with purchase offer that's just running forever, that increase average order value. Or if you've got a bit more of an established brand and you wanna continue communication with your customers and giving them new offers and things like that, you can rotate your gifts. That's what we did with a, an eight figure Shopify store that I used to work with. Basically every single month they rotate their free gift with purchase and that's actually what inspired me to kind of build this app. All right, and look, it, gift with purchases also increase perceived value of a cart. So when a customer goes to checkout on their store, they've now got their products that they've added, but then also they can see the savings of this product here and they don't wanna lose that savings. There's some big perceived value from the products that are being added to the cart with the gifts. And then the last one is it's you can persuade customers to unlock multiple gifts. So what we can do is actually stage it and have a free gift here, a free gift here, and a free gift here. And as, a, as customers add more to their cart, we can incentivize them even more. So increasing the perceived value and we can unlock even more free gifts. Alrighty, let's set up our first free gift campaign. Now, what you wanna do is navigate to, first of all, the cart setup page. Make sure that your cart is looking how you want it to look, choosing all the colors and everything like that. The next thing you wanna do is go to upsell campaigns. This is where you get to create your offer. You won't have all of these in here unless you've already got campaigns made. I'm just gonna click on new campaign. I'm gonna type in free gift, give it a name. Now, something to note is free gifting is all built within this campaign type here, add to unlock frequently bought together, free gifts, free shipping and discounts. What it's gonna do is it's gonna use this progress bar at the top to communicate the offer. And it's also gonna give you this option down the bottom to have this frequently bought together section down here. And then once we create our free gifting offer, it's gonna appear in the middle of the cart here. All right, let's scroll through. You can read through the limitations, have a look at the, there's the triggers. I'm gonna leave it as all products. For now, I also definitely recommend using dollar amount in cart, not product quantity. Dollar amount in cart is proven to get better results for customers, for stores. Now, we're gonna start with reward one. What I like to do here is just suggest everyone use free shipping as their first reward if you've got a free shipping threshold. So I'm just gonna make that 30 for now. So if you have a look up here, my main product is 20 pound here. So I'm just gonna make the free shipping 30 so it makes the customers add a little bit more to their cart. All right, we'll leave everything else the same. We're just gonna add a second reward here. You can play around with the settings if you want. Now, this is where actually what I need to do is type in free whoop, shipping here. So it looks like free shipping. All right, cool, gold text, done, free shipping. Now, we scroll down and we are going to choose our second reward. The second reward is going to be a free gift, wouldn't you know? 
So the first one was at 30. Let's just make this one at 50 because if you think about it, a customer is gonna to need to add two products to cart to unlock free shipping. And if I put this at 50, so 20 plus 20, they're gonna have 40 in their cart. What I wanna do is make them add another product to the cart. So that's gonna be a big boost in average order value to 60. So what I'm gonna do is make this 50 right now. All right. Now, if I keep scrolling through, this is where I get to select my free products. Now, if I click on this one, I've already got two products that are made as free gifts. You do have to actually create these free gifting products within Shopify in your products section. I'm gonna teach you how to do that quickly right now. But for now, what you can do is if you need to just jump in and relearn what I'm about to teach you, you can click on this button here and it's got a quick tutorial on how to actually create free gifting products. Now, it's pretty darn easy to create a gift product. We just open up our products section here. Ready right, to create a free gift product, all we need to do is duplicate another product that we want to make as a free one. So there we go, I'm just gonna duplicate this one for now. Let's just say, so it is draft for now, copy of cushions, that's the name of it. We're gonna make it free cushions. There we go, we'll make it free gift cushions. There we go, we'll leave the description all the same. We come down here, we want to make the price zero. And the compare at price can be, let's just make it 20. So it's important to add your compare at price because what it's gonna do is show up here and add to the perceived value. And this number here is gonna be also added onto the savings section in your cart. So we're gonna do it like this. We are going to say it's a physical product. We're gonna track the quantity, but so you need to play around with the tracking quantity of your store. I don't know how you track, everyone does it differently. You wanna make sure that the product is in stock. Otherwise things won't be working. I'm just gonna leave it untracked for now for demo purposes. The next thing we need to do is create a product type. So we need to type in free underscore gift, free underscore gift. This product type is going to tell Monster Upsells that this is a free gift. It's gonna pull it into the app and treat it accordingly. It's also gonna stop people when they visit this product page, it's gonna send them automatically straight to the home page. The cart will also reject this product being put into it if someone is doing something malicious or mucking around with things, trying to be sneaky with gifts. So that is why you need to create the product type or things won't work. Make sure that it's not available in any collections. Also, we have some instructions on how to hide this from your search bar within our help desk, you can have a look there using meta fields. All right, now, and now that it's saved, we need to change it, sorry, now that we've created, we need to make it active. We also need to make it show on the online store. If this isn't selected, nothing will work and Monster Upsells won't be able to work with this product. And then we hit save when we are ready. So what will happen is once we've finished and saved, it'll appear here like these other products have. If it's not appearing, you may need to hit refresh and let Monster Upsells pull all the products again into the app. Now, once we've got our products selected, we choose whether we wanna have customer choose between these two gifts or select one at random. Both are really cool options. Most people choose the choose gift, but basically the random gift one, it just, generates randomly between the two of these. If I've got a whole heap, it's just random. A random product is chosen and given to the customer as like a surprise. It's a really cool offer. You might wanna do it sometime, but I'm going to choose gift for now. You can play around with all these settings, but here's something to note. We can play around with the widget here, the free gifting widget here. We've got these three different, I guess, statuses. So this is before hitting the goal. We can change the picture and all of the other bits here. Selecting gift. So this is when it's unlocked. You're gonna be able to choose between those two gifts. And then after hitting the gift, this is what it looks like. After unlocking that free gift, you can click this button here and it sends you back to this section here. And that's pretty much it. The last thing you can do is turn off the frequently bought together option or turn it on and play around with these settings and increase your average order value through the frequently bought together section two. Here's some of my tips to get the most value out of gift with purchase add to unlocks. Number one is start thinking about rotating monthly offers. You can set up a calendar for 12 months and actually have a different gift with purchase campaign every single month. We did this for an eight figure store, right? I want a store that I used to work with. They basically did over $10 million a year, way more than that, but I 
I've got to be vague. But yeah, what we did, one of the biggest contributing factors to that high level growth and revenue was lifetime value and customers coming back to purchase more time and time again from our store. And the way we did that was drove traffic with monthly offers. And gift with purchase is an excellent way to do a new monthly offer and keep in contact with your customers and keeping things fun and inviting and providing more value. Number two, make sure that your gifts that are being unlocked are within reach with just one more click. You don't want customers to be looking around your store, trying to find the right amount of money to be able to get more unlocks and things like that. You want customers to be able to add one more product to their cart to get that free gift. What that means is maybe looking at your average order value across your entire store and choose spend goals that are just a little bit higher than that average order value. That's gonna ensure that people aren't just getting a free gift for nothing, they're actually adding more to the cart and you're getting an average order value boost. Number three, choose gifts with high perceived value. So things like stickers and little gadget, like little things that people just don't care about or don't really want, they don't have high perceived value and they're probably not gonna give you a big boost in revenue. What you wanna do is find products that accompany all of the other products that people are gonna have in their cart, but have a high perceived value and a low cost to you. Now I understand that's gonna take a bit of time to find the right products, but they're the ones that do the best. Another tip is using gifts that customers can't get anywhere else. They can't purchase them on your store. They work like crazy. When you have a product that maybe is going to come out in the future and you're just doing like a soft release, what you can do is just give it away for free at the start. It's up to you. Every business is different, but this works really well. Customers feel the scarcity. They feel the crunch to wanting to check out today or this week only. And the last tip is clearing out old stock that isn't really selling, but still has a good perceived value, but customers don't necessarily want it as the main products that they're purchasing from you. This is a great way to clear stock and not have stock just sitting there dormant for years. If you have any other questions, speak to the team. There's a little chat box in the corner. The team are never too far away. Let's get you upselling. Woo!